I don't know about you and what traditions you have for Christmas um, and it has been different this year to arrive in a parish and not actually be able to, by this point, have shared many services with you and to get to know you and your Christmas traditions. In former parishes, um, and probably here too, there was the tradition of sending a nativity scene around the homes. You could sign up and you'd be able to receive the figures of the crib into your home for one night and you would look after them and then you would send them on to the next person and then at midnight mass a child would bring, the final person would collect them and bring the figures along with Jesus to the service so that Jesus could be placed into the crib. It's a Mexican tradition of travelling from one house to another, taking the crib scene with you. Originally in Mexico, I believe they used to dress up and act out the nativity scene as they move from house to house. Um, there's a book I often use, Making Room for Christmas, which details the different prayers and the different traditions within the Mexican church. And often a crib I use for sending around the homes of children is this little crib scene here. Here's Jesus with the cross above his head and here's Mary. And they're, they're meant to hang from a Christmas tree, but they're quite handy to be taken around in someone's pocket or purse from one home to another. Well, that's just one tradition I've followed through the years. And someone I heard say recently that it seems to many that this year Christmas will be very different, that many of the traditions we follow won't be the same. But that it's still important to carry out whatever traditions we can so that it still feels like the Christmas that we're used to. Well, yes, it will be different this year, but then it made me think, how many of the things which usually happen will be the same. I will still get up on Christmas morning, probably tired from a late night. I will still, like a lot of parents in families, be worried that I've managed to wrap everything, that I've found each present. Um, I would still be looking forward to Christmas dinner and probably eat too much. I'll probably still fall asleep next to the Christmas tree some, at some point in the afternoon. I'll look forward to everyone else to a comedy show on Christmas night. I enjoy Boxing Day even better than Christmas Day because there seems to be an element of relaxation on Boxing Day and it's a way that we're able to enjoy the day in a way that sometimes Christmas feels a bit of a rush. Um, I would still probably watch a bit of a Morecambe and Wise after all these years. There's so many things which this Christmas I will still do the same. Many of the things which I would have done in previous years I will be able to enjoy even though Christmas will feel different. So my message is yes, Christmas might be different in some ways this year. In other ways we will still have the opportunities to carry out those same traditions. I will be sharing with my family those traditions via Zoom, which will be the first time we've done that at Christmas. But nevertheless, we'll be able to gather around a dining room table in different houses and we wish each other a happy Christmas. And I hope you're able to follow and keep up some traditions and begin new traditions as well. Because the message we have is timeless. The message of the Christ child coming into the world, of bringing peace, bringing hope, has been a message which has been consistent for 2,000 years. Imagine the different families gathering for Christmases back through not only the past century, but centuries before. All the different dramas, all the different stresses and crises, but nevertheless, families have gathered around that simple tradition of welcoming the Christ child into the world. So I hope you too are able to enjoy this Christmas, to celebrate it with some things which are the same, 
looking at those dates on the coffee table and probably not actually eating them during the Christmas season, struggling over cracking a walnut, eating too much chocolate and looking through the radio time saying oh it's all repeats and it's not the same as it used to be and enjoying that element of being able to recollect and live other Christmases. However we celebrate, let us celebrate knowing that that joy has entered the world again and is bringing hope for the new year. So happy Christmas to all of you and enjoy your celebration and knowing that soon we'll be able to celebrate together in church once again. Happy Christmas and Happy New Year.